All right, so let's talk solar panels. Uh, on my AC300, I have 1,600 watts of panels. I've got these two 445-watt panels here, and I've got some over there, similar 1,690 watts rating in total. Uh, but this is stationary. These aren't portable. Portable power stations, you know, in the name are portable. You need to be able to move them around. So let's talk uh, portable panels. Uh, I've got a range here. This is a 40 watt portable panel. This is a 100 watt portable panel. Uh, over here, We have a Blue Eddy branded 350 watt portable panel. That's large. But if you want to really want to see large, look down below. This is the All Powers SP039 600 watt folding portable panel. It weighs 27 and a half pounds. It is 600 watts. This is, to my knowledge, the largest portable panel folding panel currently on the market. Okay, I have the All Powers SP039 600 watt folding panel propped up here against my fixed 445 watt panel. So two 445 watt panels, one 600 watt panel, just to show the scale of this thing. It is, uh, it's about half of these two, uh, maybe even a little more with it hanging off the sides. Uh, I have it angled up here so we can best catch the sun. I have it uh, shown with my Blue Eddy AC180 that has a very weird input spec. Uh, it's rated at 500 watts, but it's very difficult to get 500 watts. I think this panel may get us very, very close. So uh, MC4 to DC 7909, and let's see what we get. Let me load the app up here. It should pop up and we can track. Okay, there's the sun rolling in. We do have some spotted high clouds, so we'll see what we get. Let me click on the input. 264 watts, 330, 414, 447, Look at the current is, uh, we're maxed at the 10 amps that the AC 180 will pull. So uh, from then on, it's just, will the sun intensity give us the voltage? 440. Yeah, 440, 450, 460. I saw 470 earlier. Um, that's, that's really good. The AC 180. And this, that's a good match. That You can make some power that way in a portable fashion. Next, I'm going to try it with my AC200L, which has a 15 amp input limit. And this is capable of 15 amps. So we'll see what we can get with that. I'll be right back and moving some things around. All right, I swapped out the AC180 with the AC200L. This has a 1200 watt solar input. Uh, and it will take up to 15 amps, which that panel can provide. So we've got the ends here. Let's connect it, see what we get. I just heard the controller click. Got the app loaded. Should be appearing over here. 260, 410, 397. Let me tap on that and get the actual voltage and power. Notice the 200L does not show uh, current. It just shows voltage and power. And we just got some high clouds. 380, 350. 450, 509. 509 for just a second. There's oh, 470. Four forty, 
I don't think the clouds are going to give us any more right now. Let's take this thing portable. I will reposition. We'll be back in a minute. Let's flip that around. Sure, now there's sun. Okay, so one of the applications of this ginormous 600 watt panel is to hang it. Uh, they recently redesigned this thing. It used to be shorter and more of a square format, basically six feet square. They redesigned it into this long format. Uh, I'm told to facilitate hanging it off of RVs. It also uh, hangs much better off of a railing. I've got it hanging off of my deck here. Uh, you could hang it off of a fence just the same. Uh, it has no kickstand, so you can only lay it on something, as I showed on the panels, or hang it, or just throw it flat. Uh, we're going to throw it flat next, see how that looks. One downside to hanging it is its size and its weight. W watch, we'll see how this goes. free. So the best way you're probably going to deploy this massive 600 watt folding panel is to just throw it on the grass. That is by far the easiest way. Six hundred watts. So in summary, portable panels, poor perspective, 40 watts, 100 watts, 350 watts, and then the largest portable panel on the market, 600 watts from all powers. Go make some power. <laughs> Here's a, they, this has this ginormous pocket on it, and it would be so much better if the pocket was on the lid instead of underneath the panel. Here's what we're working with today. Modeled blue. I could have done better with these flappy things.